Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at building an Android application inside Visual Studio 2019 using the Java language. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. To be able to do that, obviously we have to, you have to have a Visual Studio 2019 installed on your computer. And then, first of all, you have to open the Visual Studio installer. So once you open the Visual Studio installer, you can click on the modify bit here. So we get, the, we'll be able to install an individual component. So here, we can, we can actually download and install a workload. So this is what we have to actually install or, or add to our project. It's a mobile development with C++. So we build a cross-platform application for iOS, Android, or Windows using the C++. So you have to make sure you check this bit here to download and install it. So once you're done with that bit here, of course, you then you can close the installer. So once you've actually downloaded and installed the, the, the C++ support, there's one more thing that you have to do. You open the web browser and then make sure you, you search Java tools for Android project, Visual Studio 2019. So this is a Java language service integration in Visual Studio for Android project. So what you have to do is make sure you have all the Visual Studio instances closed. You download this bit and install it. So I've actually done that, so there's no point doing it again. So once you've actually done that, then you can actually open the Visual Studio, then we can continue. So in this case, I assume you've actually done that bit. So here, so we we'll look at the all languages here. So instead of selecting, you see there's Java here. So there's no, there's no, there's no need for that for now. So what you have to do is select the C++ language instead of Java. Then you can select the platform to be Android. So here, what you can do is, what we're going to do is we select this project here, Android application, Android ANT. So this, this will actually create a project with a Java. So once you've actually selected this bit here, you can click on the next. And here you can configure the project details by renaming the project name and setting your solution for the project. So once you've done that bit here, then you can click on the create. So now we have a new project created. Yeah. So as you can see, we have a very simple project and it's folder. So we can come inside the SRC for source and then the com the android and here android one dot java so as you can see we've got the java extension so this this is our the, the activity or the main activity created in, in java so as you can see here we can also get support for java intelligence and code completion so as you can see here we can get all the, the necessary intelligence so once you've got this be sorted out here, as you can see, I'm just gonna sort out my, my emulator so that we can run it. So here, I already have an emulator already open here. So before we, we go on, what we can do is just gonna run this bit here and see what actually comes out of it. So we're just gonna click on the run so that we can run it on the open emulator. So I'm just going to pause it as it might take a little bit of time for the whole thing to get to be installed. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's not taking that long for the whole thing to, to run. So I, and now as you can see, we can actually debug the whole project inside of Visual Studio, like debugging of the Java language. Yeah, so now I've got the, the emulator up and as you can see here now we've got the project or the application running on our on our emulator. 
Well, we can reopen that. So we can just we're gonna remove this bit here for now. So as you can see, we've got the, the, the thing, the whole thing running. So I'm just gonna pause this bit. We can go inside the car. We can we can even make a change, a small change here to see if it's gonna reflect. Um, it's gonna reflect on that. So here, as you can see, then we will go inside the the resource folder, the value. Yeah, we're just gonna change the. the program name or the application name we're just gonna call it youtube bit for video so we're just gonna leave it after this here so we're just gonna rerun it again and see what actually comes out of it So as you can see, we've got the, the thing the, the thing run perfectly. So everything is working nice. So before before I just logged off or before we finish this project, yeah. Obviously, if you're new to Java, then Java is a general purpose programming language that is class-based object oriented and designed to have a few implementation dependencies as possible. It is intended to let application developers write once, run anywhere, meaning that meaning that compiled Java code can run on all platforms that support Java without the need to without the need for recompilation. So Java applications are typically compiled to file code that can run on any Java virtual machine (JVM) regardless of the underlying computer architecture. So the syntax of Java is similar to C sharp C++, but it has fewer low-level facilities that either of them than either of them. And as you can, as you all know, the C, the C sharp is tightly connected to the .NET platform or Microsoft. So I'm just gonna stop this bit from running here. So. As you can see, it's a very simple video. There's no, there's no, there's very less complication. So, from this bit here, of course, you can add your your Java code by coming by clicking on the new item here. So here, so as you can see, you can add the Java code. Anything that's for Java, we can say. Uh, main act something like this dot Java. So as you can see, so we we get our Java package or the Java code created for us. So here from here, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Import whatever dependencies that you can import just to complete the project. And then, and as you can see, uh, so inside this the, um, this resource here, so you can add other. And UI or UI elements, I and XML and whatnot. So there's a whole lot of things that you can do here. So bear in mind that to be able to start, as you can see from the beginning, to be able to write code in this bit here, you have to always open it inside. It's it's it's, it's open inside um user inside the C plus plus project template right so you have to always bear that was you have to also bear that one in mind so as you can see here we've, we did we have uh, we've been able right to create our first project you writing the java language so from here you can continue to build on on your Experience uh, and if you're already using Java language, then you can go ahead and start building your project using the Visual Studio. So I, I hope this actually gets you to start with this. And 
hopefully we meet up again on the next video so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do and catch up on the next video bye bye